Hello everyone. Welcome back to In Finite Languages. Today we are diving into the fascinating world of French grammar, focusing on the present tense of ER, IR and RE verbs. Whether you are a beginner or just looking to brush up on your skills, this video is perfect for you. The present tense in French known as le présent is used to describe actions happening right now or habitual actions. It's similar to the present or present continuous tense in English and is one of the most basic yet essential tense in the French language. For example, je mange means I eat or I am eating. French verbs are categorized into three main groups based on their infinitive endings that is ER, IR and RE. Each group has its own set of rules for conjugation, which we will explore in this video. The ER ending verbs are the most common in French. The conjugation follows a specific pattern. Step 1. Remove the ER ending from the infinitive verb. Step 2. Add the appropriate endings for each subject pronoun. For example, for je, the ending is E. For Q, the ending is ES. For il and l, again the ending is e. For no, it is ons. For vu, it is ez. And for ils and else, it is ent. And your conjugation will look something like this. For the verb parler, meaning to speak, it is japal, tupal, ilpal, elpal, nu parlon, vu parle, ilpal. El par. And for the verb M A, it is Jem, Tuem, Ilem, Elem, Nuzemo, Vuzeme, Ilzem, Elzem. Did you see? The root remains the same and only the ending changes based on the subject pronoun. And here is the list for some commonly used ER verbs. Try to conjugate them on your own and send your answer in the comment section below or the email id mentioned in the description box and we will get back to you if there is any correction. Here are some examples how to use these conjugations in the sentences. Tu cherche les réponses. Il achète une nouvelle voiture. Je préfère ses vêtements. Nous commençons le dîner. Monami Rantra Du Cinema Next up we have IR ending verbs. These verbs follow same conjugation pattern but with different endings. That is for J and Tu it is IS, for IL and L it is IT, for NO it is ISSONS, for VU it is ISSEZ and for IL L it is ISSENT. So our conjugation will look something like this. For the verb finir, meaning to finish, it is je fini, tu fini, il fini, el fini, nu fini so, vu fini se, il fini, el finis. And for the verb schwazi, meaning to choose, je schwazi, tu schwazi, il schwazi. El choisi, no choisissons, vous choisissez, il choisit, elle choisit. And here is the list for some commonly used IR ending verbs. I recommend you to try these conjugations on your own. And here is the practice time along with sentences. Je finis le devoir. Vous choisissez les cadeaux. Nous obéissons toujours à nos parents. To remedy la fish. Les spectateurs applaudis. Finally, let's talk about RE ending verbs. These verbs also have their unique conjugation pattern. Just like ER and IR ending verbs, remove the RE ending from the infinitive verb and add the appropriate endings according to the subject pronoun. That is, for je, we have to add S for tu. Again it is S for IL and L, there is no ending at all 
and for no it is ons for who it is ez and for ill l it is ent did you observe that no who and plural ill form are having same ending as er ending verbs now let's have a look on the conjugation for the verb otontra joton yoton iloton eloton nuzoton do nuzoton de ilzoton elzoton and for the verb wandra jawan yuwan ilwan elwan nuwanda wonde ilwan elwan and here is the list of ri ending verbs i recommend you to conjugate these verbs and share your answers along with us now let's understand how to use ri ending verbs in the sentences tu anton tu prui lezi tu tion repond o kesion la marcha von le prui vous attendez le train je descend de l'escalier that's it for today's video we hope you found this breakdown of the french present tense helpful and easy to understand Don't forget to practice with the worksheet and let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you for watching. Do remember to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel for more language learning videos like this. Until next time, au revoir.